So this time we will use the same data, but we will use now the number of children. And we will represent it in a table called the frequency distribution table. But this time we're not using classes yet. This is called the ungroup frequency distribution. Now to do that, let's focus on the number of children. To the number of children, first we'll get the minimum number. So click mean, it means minimum. And select here everything that's in this cell and click enter. So the minimum number is one. The second one is look for the maximum. Click here and you'll get the maximum. And that is six. Now, if you write it here, it should be in ordered. So start with the minimum. Six. So we have one to six. Now to get the frequency, we just click count, count if, select the range, if it is one. So again, it's here, guys. It's in this cell, but it's hidden because of, let's make it bigger, if that would change. No, it didn't change. Okay, next. Okay, now, Count if, count if, select the range, and then select two, and you got six number of children. But actually, number of children. But actually, you can just, if you have this, you can just drag this one. Do you see the square sign? You can drag the, that square, and you'll get here. It's okay to have zero there. It's okay as long as this one is in order. Okay. And then we'll sum it up. Again, you can always use this. Count if. Equal count if. Select the range. And then the criteria. There's number two there, guys, here. But just not shown it's hidden blocked by the formula and that's it so that's why we have six there you can always do that or you can drag this one so that it will copy the process that you did in sibling two or in sibling one now in percentage we just select this divided by the 30 but if you drag this down, you will have a problem. So you'll put 30, the number 30, the total number 30, okay? This one divided by the total will give you the percentage and then drag it down. And that would be the sum of that should be 100%. 100%. Now, if your Excel showed these numbers, in decimal form, you can always click this percentage sign. For the cumulative, all you have to do is select five, the first cell here, and then enter. For the second cell, select this one plus this one. Again, third cell, select this one plus 13. Okay, and you can drag it down. You will know if you're doing it right. If this is the total of this is 30, and you got a total of 30. Now, what is the good, what is a good graph to be used in this, in this type of data? It's actually a histogram or a bar graph. So what you can do is you click this data and then insert graph. Recommended, you can always use this. We can also use a line graph if you want to, a pie graph, a funnel, a pareto. But for me, the one that is better is a clustered column or a bar graph. So let's put the label here. The label is... That will be the label.
Okay, but I think this is still lacking. Please be sure to format the label with the X and Y axis. So chart design, add axis, X, and the Y axis. And that's it.